of the Steinberg. The first of the two Steinberg citations, receiving a $7,500 check and a plaque, <laughs> goes to a play bowing on this very spot last year. The audience was thrust into a Sunday morning service in a well-heeled church. <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Thrust into a Sunday morning service in a well-heeled church with an affable, charismatic pastor, who I think is in the audience tonight. <laughs> but the preacher suddenly advocates a profound departure from dogma, causing a huge, huge rift in the congregation. This even-handed, compelling, and highly theatrical work investigates belief on a personal and theological level. It asks deep moral and spiritual questions about doctrine, faith, and belief without condescension, and with bourbon skill. And the award goes to a previous recipient of this award, and you all know it's Lucas Nath for the first time. just for this award, but for all of their support of theater across the country. They're, they're everywhere, and, and playwrights love them. Uh, thank you to the American Theater Critics Association for loving our ink more than our blood. Uh, thank you to the cast of the play who premiered it right here, Andrew Garman, Landy, uh, 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 Andrew Garman Larry Powell, uh, Linda Powell, uh, uh, Richard Hensel, and Emily Donahoe. Thank you to Amy Wagner for a couple of very crucial and early comments that really shaped the play. <laughs> a very, very special thank you to my extraordinary dramaturg, uh, Sarah Lunny. This was our... <laughs> this is our fourth collaboration together, and over the past several years, she's become... Uh, a very essential collaborator to me, probably my most essential collaborator. Uh, I barely know how to write a play without her. <laughs> to that end, I'll probably be calling her sometime next week with some questions about a new one. <laughs> and lastly, thank you to Actors Theater of Louisville and my director, Les Waters. Uh, Les and Actors Theater commissioned the play very shortly after they premiered Death Tax. And uh, writing that first draft of The Christians was probably the most miserable like, writing experience I've ever had. <laughs> I hated it. I was writing a play I had no idea how to write. Uh, when I turned in that first draft, I was turning in some sort of half-rotted, dead animal <laughs> finish line. And we had a, uh, a workshop already scheduled well in advance at the Kennedy Center. And I was really scared of this workshop because I knew that Actors Theater and Les would find out that I'm a total fraud. <laughs> and a couple of weeks before the workshop, Les called me and he left me a voicemail message and he said, I just want you to know, uh, Actors Theater of Louisville will produce your play in the Humana Festival. Uh, this workshop is not an, an audition. I don't believe in auditioning playwrights. I think that's terrible. And. Uh, because Actors Theater and Les expressed that amount of trust in me, I was actually able to do the work I needed to do to make the play watchable. <laughs> and so uh, one, the moment that Les and Sarah and I got into that rehearsal room, uh, the, working on this play became the happiest experience of my writing career. So thank you. This is Pam Harbaugh for BrevardCulture.com.